phone, go on dates, and possibly even more. I'm sure Becca was making a lot of money, but Josh wasn't cool with it. Like morally, or not even morally, for the sake of the relationship, how is that right? Like it doesn't fly with you? No, if your girl is going on a date with another guy, but she's not doing anything with them. Regardless, that's up. Josh worked things out with Becca because she told him that she wouldn't have been on the app if she knew that he wasn't okay with it. Well, to Okay. I have issues with that. I have issues. So, when it comes up to that, I would say that I don't trust it. Flat out. I don't trust it. You letting another, letting your female, your lady, your queen, whichever one you want to call it, your wife. But there are some wives, there are some guys that's letting the wives doing it or know about it and not really doing anything about it. I do not, I don't care. I don't trust it. How are you going to let your female, your lady go out with another guy? And then turn around and take them out to dinner and do God knows what she, you know, she's telling you one thing, but you're in back in your head. You like, it might be something else. That's that gray area. That's going to mess with your head so much. So I don't trust it. If she's saying that she's not sleeping with the guy, I'm not going to flat out and just be like, yeah, I'm a believer. Um, that'd be like dumb dumb written on my forehead. I don't do that. You know, so I don't trust it. So that's what his issue is right now. And I feel him on that. You got to know something because you can't just sit up there and just be like you can't just sit up there and be like oh well, they just going out. No. You got to you got to know what's up. Full, full blown you got to know what's up. Day Josh is gonna find out if that's true with this test. First and foremost, how are you doing, dude? I'm doing good. It's you actually good. good to be back. It's good to be back. <laughs> the thoughts of uh, being the sugar daddy is uh, funny, but <laughs> definitely okay, grateful. He and must be the actually boy. be here, come back, and actually get back and help with everything. Hello? Yo, yo, just making sure that you guys are still coming through? Yeah, everything's good. We're still coming through. All right, cool. We'll see you when you get here then. All right, see you. So this is where we're going to be watching and listening in to everything that's happening upstairs. We left Carlos there. He's by himself. We're just waiting for Josh to arrive. Yo, what's good, Josh? All right, smooth, smooth. Stay where you are. I'm just going to come get you because it's low-key a mission. I'm going to head down right now. Yo. All right, this is it. Carlos would help Josh how his friend Dorian once helped him. He will pretend to be rich and ask Becca to become his sugar baby. Being that Becca now knows that Josh wouldn't be cool with this, she should have no issue in turning Carlos down. Unless, of course, she simply Let isn't money come up. Threadbeast. 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 Threadbeast is a yeah, here we go with this. subscription company that sends the latest Check out the crib, though. I'll be waking up to this every single morning. Carlos was pretending to be Josh's good friend who just bought this luxury condo. Josh managed okay. to bring Becca here by convincing her to come check it out with him. Yeah, this is the living room. Of course, you got the great view. If you guys come over here, it's actually the bedroom. Everything is looking good so far. I honestly hope she passes the test for Josh's sake. Let me go ahead and let me show you guys the balcony. This guy's so rich, he just has hundreds in the couch. <sighs> oh, yeah, go ahead, Lita. He's selling it. He's selling it, selling it, selling it. See, in order for you to sit up there and have a good test or good anything, you have to sell it. And right now, he's selling the hell out of it right now. That's that's good. That's good plan. Good plan. Yeah, they all probably like do something with it, I don't know. Come outside, enjoy the view. While unintentional, Josh almost blew our cover. The Billy found was not real, but luckily Becca didn't think much of it and just set it on the counter. Y'all see the view? It's mad beautiful out here. We now had to get Josh out of there so that Carlos could make his move, money. but we had to Big do money. so without making Becca suspicious. It don't matter we to her. We are going to give them a lot of time to get comfortable with each other and just break the ice. Carlos would be giving Josh his cue to leave when he felt that Becca was comfortable enough to stay on her own. He introduced her to his dog, Yu. Hi. Yeah, nice little she dog. She looks so little. Yeah, she's still a baby. Have you guys ate today, though? And he even went as far as to ordering food from a nearby restaurant. Always good, boss. 
Yeah, yes sir, appreciate you. Have a good one. The goodies. <laughs> you wanna say bye before I put it down? Oh, um, bye honey. You guys will probably not feel how long this test is because it'll be edited, but like, I'm feeling it. Hey bro, now that I think of it, where'd you park it? Downstairs. Oh, this is it guys. Bro, they towed like a mother here, like dead ass. Come out to the balcony with me. I'm gonna show you exactly where you can park. Come over here. At last, Carlos gave Josh's cue to make his exit. So you see the parking lot across the street? So you're good literally in any of those spots. I'm gonna go down there and move my car right now. You gonna move okay, right now? Back. No, it's okay, thank you. Just enjoy your food, yeah. Perfect. Take this. You get lost, bro, hit me, bro. I'll be getting lost myself around here. Josh is pretending to go move his car so that it doesn't get towed, but in reality, he is making his way over to us. Damn, my okay. bad. Y'all should good. definitely told him about parking once you guys put up here. Where is he, where is he, where is he? What is good, my guy? What's good? Good to see you. How you doing? You ready for this? Let's get you mic'd up and let's figure out how we're gonna sit down here. But how's everything been? Good. Yeah, everything's good with you. Here we go. Work. Yeah. I know the food industry be super ass. I mean, it's okay. I like, I'm not a huge fan of my like managers. Carlos was now free to make his move, but first we were gonna have Josh give him a quick phone call. The last thing we want is Becca thinking that you're gonna walk in through the door any minute. So hopefully with this phone call, she thinks that you're gonna be away for at least 20 minutes, and that'll give Carlos plenty of time to make a move on her. That's smart. I like the way they did that because when they actually have you know mess with her mind a little bit to make it seem like that yeah you know he's going to be a little bit or making it seem like that he's not really going to bump in to a conversation or anything like that that's nice that's strategic and it lets her guard down i'm pretty sure i'm I'm pretty sure her guard is going to be put down a little bit. It's going to be down enough where she's going to be start asking questions. She's going to take that bait and everything. Because she looked like she's like a a gold diggerish type girl anyway. Because she's like not really like being like that close to him. It's kind of like she gotten a little distant. A little distant away from um from the boyfriend and everything so we're gonna see how this is gonna go i'm pretty sure she's gonna take the bait even though he thinking that he she may pass or he's hoping for her to pass she probably not because she already giving off them vibes already her without her being scared that you're gonna walk into the door and stuff oh hold on yosh hey bro i kind of wanted an energy drink do you would you happen to have any in your fridge to be honest, I don't. I, don't I know that there's like a gas station or a liquor store that's like a couple blocks away, maybe. I'm gonna grab some. All right, bet. I'll see you in like 20 minutes, okay? Sounds good, bet. Is that Josh? Yeah. Yeah, he said he's probably gonna be like maybe like 20 minutes. <sighs> cool. So we just bought Carlos 20 minutes okay, to make his move. Cool. Yeah, you're actually a good, good Bob. You seem like a good person. You seem super bright. You know, you're super energetic. You have a contagious smile, you know? So. Actually, do you have a, can I use your restroom? Uh, yeah, if you come over here, it's right here in the bedroom. Oh, dang, okay, What's she going to the bathroom the for? Yeah, just uh, make sure you take off your shoes, too. I just really don't want to get my carpet dirty. Yeah, I got Yeah, you. I just like to keep the carpet clean. Dang, we bought them 20 minutes, and Becca's burning through them in the restroom. <laughs> really quick, sorry. Can I have you actually stay over here in the middle? Because when you come this way, his face gets in your way. There we go, perfect. <clears throat> All right, here we go, guys. Becca's out of the restroom. Everything okay? All right, smooth, smooth. Yeah, you go ahead and put your shoes back on if you like. You know, make yourself comfortable. You might be a this little nervous. Okay. She might be nervous. Three hundred for that. Two thousand for this. Way too expensive. But today I'm going to show you guys how to get all this stuff for a lot cheaper. Okay. So the day's been good to you. Today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, okay. Back to work tomorrow. Ah, uh, I see, I see. What are your dreams and stuff like that? What do you actually like want to do besides? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm trying to figure it out a little uh -huh. bit. I want to travel. Mm -hmm. Like, I want to go to Europe and I want to go to like- You want to do a lot of stuff. Sorry. No, you good, you good. Like if that could be my career, you nope. know what I mean? And why haven't you? Because I work at a restaurant. You can hear good? Yeah. And how's the pay? Yeah, he can hear. How's the what? The pay. Uh, Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you need help financially? Uh oh. Like, like what do you mean? Look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm I'm, I'm gonna keep it I'm gonna keep it straightforward with you. Go ahead. I pay for, you gonna for, lay it on. For like women's, I guess you could say their presence. You know, just take care of them, pay their bills, 
you know, help them get around. It's a win-win. You know, I help pay. They keep me company. Everyone is happy at the end of the day. You kind of get what um what I'm throwing at you. I I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what do you mean? I'm a sugar daddy. Okay. You're someone that I can see that I can definitely provide for. Your energy is super contagious, and it's something that you know I would love to see more of. You know, you're struggling uh -huh. and everything like that, and I feel like I can give you an easier option. Don't fall <laughs> for it, man. Don't go go. Don't. Are you like ask, like what are you asking me? Like what? I'm asking you to be my sugar baby. <laughs> I ain't never had a Becca before. I'm dating Josh, though. You don't have to leave Josh. That's totally your, your decision. I don't really care about that. My, 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 my point is with you. I know you got bills, right? They be expensive? I mean... Does Yoss help you with your bills? No. I can easily play for those. Are you, you got Apple Pay, right? Yeah. Hold up. Give me your number. Now, question. Is she lying about that? Because you cannot just sit up there and just be boyfriend, girlfriend, and y'all don't help each other out. There's no way in hell. Somewhere down the line, she capping. I know she is. That's all cap. In all caps. Because there's no way in the world that can happen like that. My phone number. Give me a number. Wait, Get a phone wait. number. For what? This is where things get interesting. See, before the test, we sent Carlos $300. Let me know when you get it. <laughs> I would not use this wisely. <laughs> Carlos will now send this money to Becca to help her pay some bills and to prove to her that he means business. How much is your water bill? Like $20. Sent you 20? Like Did you, you just get the 20? $20? Yeah. Like, why? I don't. I mean, you say you need help with your bills, right? Yeah. What else you got? What, 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 what's another bill do you have? What's your, what's your electric bill? Like 40. 40? Are you just like sending me like... Yeah, like, I mean, I, I, I'm gonna help you take care of the bills. This is what you need, right? This is what you need to get done so you can do what you want to do. Are you being serious right now? Yeah, you just got the 40. I'm about to go ahead and slide over you like 150. You're not gonna send me 150 dollars. You think I'm playing? Like why? Like I just like, I just met you. <laughs> like, I hey, it's really nothing to be honest. I take care of all my babies. All, all my babies be taken care of. All your babies? Yeah. You can yeah, do more than one. I showed but, you exactly what I could do, how, how easy I could provide for you, get it done but just I like that. Not yet. <laughs> I know you're thinking about it. I know it's probably running through your mind this entire time. I just gave you proof and gave, let you see him right there. Man, there that he's I can selling the exactly hell out of that mug. You can treat it like a relationship. You can see it as a relationship if you want to. Proper panda, what's going on, my guy? You're just getting an extra bag, right? Welcome to the stream. Just joining me, man. I, I know it's a lot that's some, coming to you and stuff like that. It's a lot of stuff happening at once. Doing some sugar baby and, and sugar daddy business right now. I mean, homie right up here, he's selling it. Selling it real good. Female is actually trying to come in and be like, she don't know about it. But then she's taking the money and she's not really sending it back. So you know what's about to go down. Chances are she's about to fail because she haven't. She haven't reneged on anything. She haven't sent it back. She didn't say no. So right now she's failing. So yeah. Yes, but have you ever done something like this before? I mean, not like I don't know. I mean, kind you don't got a lot. Okay. You, well, I used to, but see, like, it, see. I know, right? Grab that pop. What you mean, man? Like a website. Which one? I know they got what? like a, man, a lot of them on there. Yeah, uh, see. Seeking arrangements. So she been that. doing this from the jump. But you were talking to them. Yeah, but I stopped. Talking to them I... What made you actually initiate? I actually want to go do. She I stopped. Go do that. It was, like, it was like easy and like they were usually really nice. I mean, I never like feel like anyone like took advantage of me or anything. And so I don't know. I mean, why wouldn't I? You know, I have a bunch of friends that did that as well. So what's the difference between you have done it before and then you doing it now with me? Okay. I'm a pretty cool, calm, collected dude. I don't feel like I cause no harm. Right. But like, what would you want? Like, for me, like, I never even had to meet them in person. Like, mm -hmm. it's all online. Damn. It sounds like she's considering it. Yeah. What we do is yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll just yeah. take things slow. You know, take it day by day, conversation by conversation. We'll see exactly where the vibe goes, what type of connection we can actually build within one another. So it's not out. looking good. Yeah. As friends. Mm. Not as friends. Right. So that's what I'm asking. Dang. We could go out, we, we go, we could do what you want to do. We could go shopping. I'll help you with everything that you got to do. 
once everything seems like it's smoothing over and it's very, very comfortable, then just let the magic happen from there, go, right? We just have to be a little more intimate. It's not just friends. Like, I'm literally helping you get to the next level. So you want to f me? Oh my God. <laughs> Carla says no idea how to respond to that. <laughs> It was straight up with that. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting her to beat around the bush a little bit because she kind of little coy. But it seems like she been around the block a little bit. Jenny round the block, if you know what I mean. Because she straight up. She's not. She's not it. For, no, she's not. She's She's for the streets. Boy, he just straight up to my son. You want the F? Come on, man. Like, she done did this for a while. She did this for a while. Because it's not like this is not nothing new to her. She definitely feels like she did this for a while. Like, no lie. <laughs> That's a harsh term to put it, but I guess not you even... say that. But also, not only just... I just want to be able to provide for you, make life easier for you. You can be waking up to this every single morning. So as long as you 100% sure you were down with it and you're down for me, don't just be down with the money. You got to be down for me. Well, yeah, but again, like, I'm dating Josh. I know. Okay. Yosh is a good dude. He's showing some restraint. definitely a good dude. But like you say, you want to be able to travel and stuff, right? I you want to be able to do things. Let's make it happen. I'm ready. I feel like you good. I got you. No, I'm... I'm actually like, I'm not down. Okay. I'm gonna send you, I'm, not, I'm paying you back right now all of the- What do you mean you're not down? Like I'm with Josh and I wanna be with Josh. And so I feel like- But you was just literally giving me like all this type of energy that you was kind of like, no, I okay with it. I'm not, I'm not down, I don't wanna do it. I'm gonna send you okay. the money back and like, I just- We might gotta I just, win. I like, feel really like bad, I feel gross. I like don't want to. So I'm sending it back to you right now. Well, I say we go and take our time. You know, you go at your pace. Well, you was kind of making the guy. Mike got a win. Yeah, so like I'm just like I'm out. What the heck? She out. You 100 percent out. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not out. I don't want to do it. Is there a reason? Did I do something wrong? No, I just like thought about it and like the money's just not worth it. Oh damn! Wow. All right. <laughs> I'm sure you can find other shaping babies, right? Yeah. I just like don't. But I just don't feel like that's like the life for me. I yeah. just like I left that behind. Like having like a sugar daddy that I like live with or whatever. You know? Yeah, I know she kinda, she kind of did actually, that before. It's crazy how your energy changed though. Like you really sound super confident. Yeah, you provoked. Just looked at myself in the mirror and I thought this is wrong. I guess it's understandable. I, I can't argue with you. I mean, like I said, Yosh is a good dude. Now I can see he's very lucky to have someone like you by his side. So um, the offer is off the table. Good. I think we lost. Okay, then, yeah. Get trained in less than a year at Universal Technical mm, Institute mm, as mm. an auto or diesel technician. All right. That's a pass. Is that a pass to you? That's a pass. <laughs> yes, that's a pass. Sorry, man. That's a pass to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. So Becca turns Carlos's offer down and remains loyal to Josh. Now, to me, it sounded like she was on the verge of failing. But nonetheless, Josh considers the results of this test as a pass. Jesus I Christ. thought she was going to fail, too. <laughs> we'll just wait All that money he was back. throwing Let's up in the face. try to just act like he ain't even left. And we were just chilling. We were just eating and enjoying the food and everything like that. It's like this really big release right now. I, <laughs> I don't even know. That's I'm good. Saying. When he comes in, we'll just go from there. Yeah. All right, all right. Are you going to tell her that you've been watching? No. <laughs> no, the day to stay. No. So you didn't miss out. I'm You're calling. done listening yeah, 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 yeah. in. Calling. You're positive. One hundred percent. Hey, my apologies. After all of it, like if I made you like feel uncomfortable or anything like that, like it really wasn't my intention. No, it's only good. It's okay. Like you're basically. We are gonna send you back up there with this bag of stuff because we gotta make it look like you went to the store. You are gonna go back up there and you're just gonna play this entire thing off, okay? You know, Josh is on his way back. He should be. He should be on his way. Don't act too happy, bro, or too sad. Just act normal. Just act normal. Yes, normal. Okay? normal. We'll act later. normal. What's up, guys? My God. How do you go in and act normal after that, like, roller coaster of, like, 
emotions. Since Josh didn't want to tell Becca about the test, the plan was for him to just hang out there for a bit and then eventually make up an excuse for them to go home. Not long after he walked in though, Becca beat him to the punch. Um, I actually, my coworker asked me if I could cover her shift tonight. I told her I could. Wow. So I really need so to So she was like, let's get the hell up out of there. She like, let's go. Thank you for having us though, it was really nice. Of course. Oh, dang. You can tell she's wow. mad. It's awkward. She's mad. Dude, like, let's go. She doesn't want to be there. Appreciate you. Hell no, yep. she don't want to be there. Nice to meet you, too. You trying to get out of Dodge. I've been comfortable, too, with uh, Carlos trying to make me a sugar baby. <laughs> Although, I don't think I would have denied him, though. <laughs> hey, my phone, baby. Really? <laughs> but yeah, bro, just hit me. Be safe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, bro. always. Thanks again, man. Yes, sir. All right. If you had to give her a grade, what would you give her? Mm. It was a pass, but it wasn't an A. Okay. I feel that. Yeah. I'll give her credit because she passed. And you know what? Josh is happy. Yeah. And it shows that she's trying. So I want to know what you guys think. In the end, Becca ended up saying no. Maybe she really changed her mind because of Josh. Maybe it was something else. Or maybe she caught on to the fact that she was being tested. I don't know. How do you guys interpret this? And if this were your relationship, what would you I have done? I think that passed life of hers. <laughs> she said, you want to <laughs> He took like a whole five seconds to be like, what do I say? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I mean, she did come off and just say that right out the blue. So, mm, so when am I? But yeah, she did came off and said that. I think she was mixed in. Her her actions are genuine. I tell I tell you that they're genuine. Cause she really wanted to get up out of there she wanted to leave as soon as josh got in you know her boyfriend then on top of that she kind of like i think she kind of did like had that past life so she was like no she didn't want to visit that no more because she just felt like i guess she felt guilty about it because she sure as hell felt guilty a while ago when when the boyfriend came in so yeah i mean that's a win. That is a win. You can't just you can't justify that anymore. That's a win. So yeah. Other than that, I mean, we got our first win. Off of a loyalty test. Wow. Cause when I was watching his stuff in the past, like years ago and stuff, I mean, man, it's just been downhill. Everyone I've seen, they failed. They, di they didn't pass a loyalty test or anything like that. It's just been a whole lot of stuff that's been going up on there. Wow.